Hollywood aposta em rostos novos e Brandon Fraser é um deles. Em pouquíssimo tempo, Brandon se tornou um protagonista conhecido por seu talento e versatilidade. Brandon Fraser é tímido e introvertido e falar de si mesmo é sem dúvida um dos papéis mais difíceis que ele aceita fazer. Com vocês, o ator revelação do cinema americano, Brandon Fraser. Hi, Brendan. Uh, what moved you to be an actor? Hmm. What moved me to be an actor? Um, combination of probably having physically moved a great deal as a child. Yeah. My father's work took us from place to place about every three years, and I've lived in Canada and parts of the, Uni of the United States. Uh -huh. I grew up in Europe as a kid. Um, what, what places? I live in Holland, and I travel around to, well, to England and, and other parts of, of Europe. Um, mm. So do you speak many languages? I understand them better than I speak them. Uh -huh. um, my family settled in Seattle, in the Northwest, and I uh, went to high school in Toronto, Canada, for about four years, and I trained in Seattle. But around that time, I, um, I think probably in my early teens, I, I don't know, I, I started thinking more seriously about what I wanted to do with my life. And uh, I knew that I wasn't going to make it as a mathematician or as any sort of scholar. Um, but I, I had a great deal of, um, I got a great deal of enjoyment from performing uh, plays and, and, and being a, a storyteller. And so I, I made, a, I guess, a real concerted effort to uh, train professionally and I, I spent four years in the conservatory there in Seattle mm -hmm. um, received a degree and, and shortly thereafter I, I, I passed through Los Angeles and uh, I, I don't know something snowballed and I started to meet people and how did it start I think I'd, I'd say it started early on as a kid when I when I saw oh either It was a toss-up between Jesus Christ Superstar or Oliver in London as a kid. I, mean, I knew that that was what I wanted to do. It was just love at first sight when I, when I saw those plays performed. And at the beginning of your career, was it hard? Was it easy? You came here and you came in L.A. to... Mm. Well, it's never easy. Mm. And I don't think it should be. If it is, then I don't want to do it anymore. I'm not, I'm not a glutton for punishment, but I'd, I'd, uh, I'd sooner accept a challenge than walk away from one. Um, beginning was, uh, you know, the usual uh, high expectations and rejection that, that any actor is going to go through. The, the, the dips and nodes are it's predictable. Yeah. Um, I, I experienced all of them. I paid my dues. <laughs> oh, boy, did I ever. Plenty of them. Plenty of times over. But, um, But you, you, say, you never said to yourself, oh, I'm going to give up, I can't do it, but no. Oh, probably, but I don't remember when it was. Maybe it was this morning when I woke up. No, I, <laughs> I think I, 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 that doesn't get you anywhere. It's doubting yourself doesn't get much done. I mean, it's easy and comfortable to go through periods of intense self-loathe, <laughs> but yeah. I, I won't indulge in it personally, but uh, no. I'm, I'm glad to be working. How was your, your first bre break like? How was it? Um, well, I don't know what I would consider my very first break to be. I'd say that had to be my real early days just performing in small plays and whatever venue I was happy to be attached to. I think that, actually I didn't feel elated, I threw up. <laughs> I got a TV movie and I promptly barfed. I was <laughs> sorry. I was, well, I have visceral reactions. Um, that was that was uh, a couple of years ago. Uh -huh. I guess that was uh, uh, something that I, I, I went up on and I and I I got the job. And I guess I became excited. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of characters would you like to play? 
ones that uh, definitely take me in a different direction from uh, who who I am, but still incorporating um, parts of, I guess, my personality and, and, and parts of my personality that I didn't know I had. I, I, I'm interested in making discoveries. Mm -hmm. I'm interested in telling stories that um, uh, enlighten and entertain and amuse and, uh, and uh, gosh, possibly even transport an audience member. So I think the people at, that I, I want to work with and, and, and the decisions about which characters I'm going to play should, uh, should reflect that to me as is a personal piece of philosophy and also to uh, um, make um, diverse choices. Uh, mm -hmm. So I don't feel as if I'm doing the same thing all the time. Now it's easy for you to do this. I mean, there are lots of scripts for young <coughs> actors out there. Mm, yeah. Yes? Um, it's easy? Yes. No, it's never easy. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's ever easy. Uh, because even if you get the job, it's not Fat City. You still got to do it, and you still got to do it right. And you still have to make, put the thing on the screen, and people still have to see it and have a reaction to it. Sooner or later, people want to talk about it, like you and I are right now. Yeah. Do you see many roles for you? Do you see good scripts nowadays? There's some very interesting um, films being written that, mm. I, that, that I've seen. Um, some of them I'd very much like to be a part of. Um, others is, is uh, What movie would, you, like, would you like to have done, for instance? Mm -hmm. Tell me a role, you know, so oh, this would be great. Um, I think just in, in uh, the, it's not necessarily anything specific that I can give you, but I, I'd be interested in working in, in period pieces. Mm. Um, gosh, so I, I just keep my eyes, my eyes and ears open for those. What director, mm. any particular director you would like to work with? Well, if I could, um, if he'd have me, or I, th I mean, this is just really wishful thinking, but um, well, I, I, I just, I. I why not? Since Sawyer's were having a fantasy here, I'd name someone like Kubrick or mm -hmm. yeah, uh, someone who, uh, who I greatly admire. He wanted to belong to that school. Mm -hmm. He wanted. He was willing to go to such extreme lengths as to even hide his star of David, um, to deny his faith, to mm -hmm. fundamentally disguise himself yeah. as opposed to who he really is. And the sacrifice that he makes a mistake. I mean, he, he, he's willing to go to those lengths to be a part of a group. But I think we've all wanted to belong. We've mm -hmm. all felt as if we had our nose pressed up against the glass and mm -hmm. we were on the outside looking in and we couldn't, we couldn't come in because we weren't invited or because we were different or, or, or it, it wasn't, it was uncomfortable for you, a different sort of specific type of person to be there. Um, obviously, these ideas, these issues are going to interest people, certainly mm -hmm. today, um, as prejudice still exists. Apparently, we still haven't learned anything since its setting in 1955, and I mean, uh, hopefully in my lifetime, there will be barriers of walls that are knocked down. I don't know if it's going to be as a result of some film. Yeah. Because I know when I go to a film, I certainly don't want things rubbed in my face. I don't want to be told, this is the answer, this is the way to behave, or this is the way to solve the problem, offer some sort of solution. You want to find out by yourself. I want to find out. I mean, I want to, I want to, I want to have the, the ideas, and, mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and, and School Ties certainly did that. It didn't pander to its audience. It didn't rub its nose and anything. And it was a bittersweet film, I think, in the end result. He's an actor who's passed seems to be very much a part of his present because he incorporates those values that he had growing up in, um, in his work. He has a real strong sense of loyalty. I think he's fundamentally a very private actor. He doesn't announce his intentions beforehand, which is interesting because when it happens, then it's not much fresh, not much new. It keeps you on the balls of your feet. And he, I thought he's just a delightful guy. He's very funny mm -hmm. and, um, and, uh, and generous, and he knows where to eat. <laughs> <laughs> the 
there's a guy in Seattle, his name's Peter Silbert. He's a stage actor there, and, and uh, he performed at a play called The Puppet, Puppet Master of Loads. Yeah, but nobody known. In well, he's still an actor, even if he's not known. Uh -huh. Oh, sure. I mean, that we could share because we don't know him. Gosh. No, uh, okay. Not really. <laughs> and uh, what attracts you to a character? Usually. What attracts me to the character? If, you know, as I said, uh, if I feel as if I'm uh, intrigued by what they have to do, if it's something different from the last um, you know, embarkment I've made on it. You want to change always. Yeah, it, to have that, 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 uh, that choice or that ability to make those choices is sublime. How do you view a character? Everything I need to know as should be evidenced in the text. It should be in the script. Mm -hmm. And everything that I want to know about that isn't in there, well, that's my domain. I can construct it from there on out. The usual adding of pasts. First and foremost, approach the, the, that guy as a clown. And then he needed some qualities. He needed a specific rhythm and he needed to he was hungry, he was a little bit smelly, he was curious, he'd never been here before, he didn't speak the local language, he didn't mm -hmm. know how to use doorknobs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so he was curious and playful, and he had a heart, and he wanted to go home. That's a lot to work with right there. Are desperate. You know, when we meet these three guys, they. They've been through. But there are a lot of the people like them. I, I mean. suppose there are, yeah. And there are a good number of, of frustrated uh, artists, be they musicians, painters, photographers. I mean, I, I know actors who are frustrated or, or feel like they're resting on the laurels of their success. And, it, and, you know, I mean, the stakes just get higher no matter what degree I think you go along. I can remember being very disappointed in college because I didn't get a part that I wanted in a play there. And that seems like 100 miles ago, 100 years ago and 1,000 mm -hmm. miles, but that same core, I guess, disappointment that I, I felt then can still be felt, I mean, anyone who has a, an active film career, or that elation, and that elation you still feel later on down the road. Every day, um, yeah. And are, you are famous now. Were you prepared to this? to um, be famous and... I don't know, it's funny because people tell me I'm famous. Mm. And uh, I... You quite don't realize I, mean, I look for a laminated card in my wallet or something like that. You are famous. I don't know exactly what it means. I never really had the dream to be a movie star or a film star. It was never like this... Uh -huh. obtain, you know, it was never like the golden ring for me. I, I never... And I, 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 I sincerely, I say it sincerely, I never really felt that, that you know. I think if I missed it, I mean, if, if it stopped, I would, my head would spin a bit, but um, I know that I'd be okay because I'd still be an actor whether I was famous or working or not. Mm -hmm. It's just what I do. Acting is also about acceptance. Do you feel accepted now? Yeah, but I, so far I've been, I, mean, um, I think so. I. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm still learning how to act for film. Uh, I'll admit, I, I don't necessarily always know what I'm doing, but I'm picking up uh, yeah. techniques and such from the people I work with and the situations I get into. And Are you an organized person? Do you plan things? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like office supplies. <laughs> like pencils and, paper and clips yeah. And <laughs> I don't use them very well. <laughs> Things just happen to you and you go and go. Um, How it works? How does it work? Well, I'm always grateful when people lick stamps for me. <laughs> <laughs> I am, um, I'm, I'm organized in the chaos of my mind at yeah. times, but it also, uh, I, I have, um, I have terrific people who, who help me out, work with me in a great management company, and uh, and, uh, and, uh, and do you have a girlfriend? Um, I'm single. No. Uh huh. So, no girlfriends, nothing, no romance. Are you a romantic person? <laughs> You'd have to tell me. Oh, <laughs> do I have? I'm too shy. To
I have strategic places in the house I live in that are, okay, this is where you drink the coffee and this is where you read and this is where you talk on the phone. That's, I, um, Messy, organized. Um, I'm sloppily organized. I, mm -hmm. I have piles of junk in specific piles. <laughs> and I know it's in the piles as long as you don't move them around. Do you go out at night, nightclubs? You like uh, this kind of life? I don't know. Not, not so much in Los Angeles. I mean, those places, those are the first clubs that I've ever seen violence in. Mm -hmm. And that frightens me. And um, yeah. So I don't necessarily go in when I'm in LA, but I, you know, there's some great places there. There's a place called the House of Blues that's outstanding. Yeah. And I like what they stand for. Sincerity, uh, humor. Mm. Uh, gosh, I don't know. Depends on the person. I just look for a person before I look for a, you know. So what kind of personality are you attracted to? Um, one that, uh, I guess is we're attracted to like like minds, I guess. I don't know <laughs> people who certainly um, uh, think on the same wavelength. Or I was shy, I was tough, I was bad. I mean, I tried out everything, I guess, to figure out who the heck I was. And big. Big? Yeah. I was always usually the tallest guy yes. in the class. Uh -huh. and I, was, you know, I was a weird, skinny-looking kid. I had roller skates, and I had these big thighs on me. So you weren't afraid of anybody, were you? <laughs> well, I wasn't afraid of anybody? No. Terrified. Really? Oh, hell yeah. How come? Because, um... Because I didn't like it when people were mean to me. I didn't know how to be mean back to them and mean it. <laughs> I think your spirituality goes as far as whatever faith you have or religion you um, practice. Uh, I hope it's a positive one. And if it gets you through your day, your week, your months, your years, then more the power to you. Um, I, I firmly believe in unity of um, and tolerance. Now, is there anything you, you would like to change? About myself? Mm. Uh, yeah, but I do that in my work. Yeah, I mean, I do that. I make changes in, in, and, and live as a different person for a short while at least. It's something, if it ain't nothing, as, as a different person. Um, you mean acting? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. You know, I could be a rock star or I could be a uh, whoever, you know, those, those, a, a priest, a mass murderer, I, whatever. I mean, those are different people that you can try on and get away with it. But what, what about yourself? Um, I'd rather leave myself as I am. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. And how do you see yourself in 10 years, for instance? I can't see any further than maybe like a year in advance. Would there you like to direct or get mm. married, have a big family? That might be down the road, but... Uh, I am married right now. I'm married to my career. <laughs> so that's, that's my child.